Hi, my name is Faiza Soleimani, and I'm a PhD candidate in the Department of Mathematics at the University of Texas at Arlington. I'll be talking about a new supervised dimensional introduction method which integrates PCA with SVM. Nowadays, high dimensional data is being collected through different sources. This type of data possesses a large number of features. Uh, although this high dimensional data is providing us with more information, but most of the time only a few number of features are of critical importance. On the other hand, working in high dimensional spaces, we might face additional problems uh, such as curse of dimensionality. So to, uh, to remove the irrelevant features and to tackle the problem of curse of dimensionality, uh, we need to reduce the dimension of the data. Dimensionality reduction is the process of transforming the high dimensional data into its low dimensional representation while preserving uh, some special properties of the data. There are some uh, powerful dimensionality reduction algorithms uh, such as PCA, LDA, and SPCA. So one should note that dimensionality reduction is just the intermediate step toward the final goal like classification or regression. So uh, we might face uh, two issues here. The first one is that powerful dimensionality reduction uh, algorithms can only uh, reduce the dimension of the data and they are not able to do uh, classification. So after reducing the dimension of the data, we have to uh, test several classification algorithms uh, to see which one give, uh, gives the best result. Uh, this process is a hard and time consuming process. So the other issue here is that um, so if the dimensionality reduction and classification are done separately, the objective is not common. So getting uh, the optimal and convergent result is not guaranteed in this case. So to address these uh, problems, we have proposed a um, new supervised dimensionality reduction algorithm, which is not only able to reduce the dimension of the data, but, uh, but also can do uh, classification. So this is the optimization problem of our proposed model. Uh, this, mod, uh, this optimization problem is non-convex, which is NP hard to solve in general. We propose to uh, break down this problem into two small sub problems and then solving uh, these two small sub problems in an alternating way. So due to the possibility that this W vector uh, is an infinite dimensional uh, vector or um, just this problem in three can have infinitely many solutions, we are transforming uh, this problem into in into its dual form and solve the dual form instead of the primal form in two. And once we transform the uh, primal problem in two into its dual form in four, so this problem in three will uh, be transformed into a trace optimization problem. So these two uh, small sub problems will be uh, solved iterative uh, in an alternating way to get uh, the optimal result. So here is the optimal, uh, see here is the algorithm of uh, our proposed model. The outputs of this algorithm are the projection matrix P, which is being used uh, directly in dimensionality reduction and the alpha vector, which helps us to find uh, the classifier hyperplane. This is the normal vector and this is the Y intercept of the classifier hyperplane. Once we have the hyperplane, so the, um, the label and the class of the new and unseen data set can be obtained using this equation. So our model have uh, our model has been applied to some uh, data set. So two of them are uh, binary data set and the other two are multi um, multi class data set. They have three uh, classes. So in all those figures, you can see that our model outperforms uh, the other uh, algorithms. So in all those figures, new leave and new quad are the result obtained from solving this quad uh, convex quadratic optimization in uh, uh, problem four with leave SVM package and MATLAB quad for a built in function. I wanted to show that no matter which large scale optimization uh, algorithm uh, we'll be using to solve problem four, we'll be getting the same result. So uh, I wanted to thank Dr. Li Wang and Dr. Renkeng Li uh, for their unconditional support. Thank you.